And the Lord is talking to me and saying, Hey, Ken, I got something I want to show you. So first things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Supreme Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain. I just came up out of my sleep and just started making this. So is it possible, can a projection screen be blue? Now I'm pretty sure the only people that are probably seeing this because this is probably the earliest I've ever done a stream, but usually when you have something, you gotta let the world know. And I gotta let you know. Is it possible to make a blue screen? Well, you know, you have blue screens for special effects, but a blue projection screen, is that possible? So I'm gonna show you something here. Now, this is made just for fun, out of curiosity to see if I could get away with it. Well, not get away with it. God always gives me interesting ideas and say, hey, look, let's make something really, really interesting that the people can be stunned over. So, this right here, the third at the bottom of it, is a blue projection screen. I know some people might say, no, that can't be blue. Oh, it's blue. And I'll show you why. I'll put it right next to some gray screen paint. So you can see exactly what it is. It's blue. Now how would a blue projection screen react? Let's have a look at inside the lid. It's blue. So I'll show you. Alright, so we have a large sheet of it painted there in the middle of the floor. And then I have a, um, I have a uh, piece already set up. So I'm gonna come over here and block my projector just for a minute. Usually, like I said, I don't do streams this early in the morning, but I wanted to wait until later, but I said, you know what? I have got to show this off now. So there's a screen right there painted on a large piece of styrofoam. There is the blue right there. And there it is right there as an alter changing technology, which allows the screen to be able to switch its colors. All right. So I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take some gray we have here. So what happens when you don't sleep at night? I usually have to have this problem when I used to program all the time. I never ever got any sleep because I was always up thinking about something different to do. So this is gray. And there is blue. Grab several sheets of gray screens. So you can see it's a gray projection, it's a blue projection screen. Is it possible? It is possible. Anything is possible. Just have to listen to the Lord and he'll tell you how to do it. So this is gray. You see that it is a blue screen. Take some gray sample sheets. Throw it next to them. See if we can find one that can match it. None of them will. That's a blue screen. And then I have this is the one I painted just tonight. Painted this one downstairs. And it's blue. So now, technology. Who would make a blue screen? Well, why not make a blue screen? What benefits you can get out of a blue screen? Well, I don't even know that yet. But this is to show you that, you know, our technology allows us to be able to make anything that we want. As long as we have God's backing, we can make whatever we want. So, what does a blue projection screen look like? Well, I'm going to show you in a few minutes. What does a blue projection screen look like? Blue. What does it look like? I'll show you. Can a blue projection screen pull white levels? Now, that's the first thing that came to my head was, can it pull white levels? Because usually the white levels would come out kind of looking kind of bluish, right? Well, 
Oh, don't worry, this won't be for sale. This was done just for fun to see if it could be done. You'll never see this. After I shoot this, I'm going to sleep to get back tomorrow morning to show off that one right there. So yes, people, you can make a blue projection screen. Well, blue projection screen produce white. Yes, it will. It will produce Snow White. How is that possible? Yeah. Well, we figured out how to do it. We're not saying we. God figured out how to do it. He gave us the instructions how to do it. So you could see it. It pulls up a higher white level than any gray screen. Yeah. Now we're the first company with the blue screen. Mm. Uh, the black, something like next week. And there's no labels for it yet. So next week, it'll have a label. Label's gonna be pretty sick too. Now, like I said, this was done out of curiosity to see if it could be done. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this, to tell you the truth. Just got a curious to see if you can have a blue screen. All right. So how would contrast show up on a blue screen? people y'all got a chance to see it first after this I'm gonna pass out because most of you're probably thinking why are you up at one o'clock in the morning I woke up and made this stuff God kind of told you God talks to me in my sleep gives me ingredients and tells me how to make it and all I got to do is go downstairs in that shop and put it together and you're seeing it this was made about I say 20 minutes ago Just like the black was made in 20 minutes. So in my head, why does a projection screen have to be black? Why does it have to be gray? Why can't it be different? That's where the gold technology came in. We developed a screen that had a bronze look to it. So could we do this to red? Orange or green? You never, you never know. It's not to flex and show so and so and so. Looks a bit off. I knew I would get basically, you always gonna take something anytime. We display something that you've never seen before. We always get the naysayers in there. We've always got to say something negative about it. You know why? Because you're jealous, that's why. It looks a bit off. Yeah, it's a blue screen. And he says it looks a bit off. Those are the jealous people that are very jealous. 
Accept it. That's what you need to do. Accept it. You can't figure out how I'm making product that fast. In 20 minutes, it took me to design this. And the reason why it took me 20 minutes to design this is because I put my faith in God. That's why. Colors a bit off. That's the brightest green I've ever seen on a blue screen. But I'm used to it. It was like that when I first developed on the Digital One Crystal screen paint. When we display at that time, we had goo screen. It took like hours to install a screen. And we did it under 20 minutes. And the first thing they said was, oh, that's virtually impossible. That stuff is this, that, and the other. Your company will never go anywhere. Now we're the only ones with the blackest screen right now. We actually now have a blue technology that no one even has. No one's even ever heard of a blue projection screen. So I'm used to the naysayers. I look at the naysayers as the people that get upset because we do things a little better. That's a 720p projector I'm using right now. Don't worry. You've seen the test we had to do on the uh, on the extreme black. If I decide to launch this, it will go through every single test. A extreme black, extreme black had to go through. That's uh, not campground. That's just more campground. And that's what I was expecting. What a naysayer is a problem they have. See, people who look at my work, they find it fascinating, and they love it. Thank you so much for that. The naysayers are more upset because they can't wrap their head around how it's done. When you put your faith in God, you can do things that are impossible. When others say it can't be done, it can be done. If I told you yesterday that I was building a blue projection screen paint, you would have thought I had lost my mind. Oh, this joker just went too far. I mean, come on now, he's just really tipping over the edge. He's just developing stuff for the sake of just developing stuff. But see, that's the difference. You don't realize that at the end of the day when I go to sleep, that even when I believe it or not, it's up to you. I really don't care because I know where my knowledge comes from. But God basically gives me ideas in my dreams. Shows me ingredients on how to design and make things. So I can come up here and show you this pretty cool stuff. Yeah. It, now, thank you so much, Big Mike. Thank you so much for that. Because the white levels aren't supposed to come out like that on a blue screen. They should be a kind of really bluish tint to it. You know what I mean? That just shows you how amazing God is. I don't give credit to myself, you know what I mean? Sometimes I do get a bit arrogant sometimes. I admit that I do get that a little bit arrogant. I do. I'm a human being. I get arrogant sometimes. But then I got to remind at the end of the day where the knowledge comes from. But I don't know. Winner rate mind would wonder. I don't know. Blue screen? I mean, it's just strange. I mean, the colors pop on it. It's beautiful. Sorry if I interrupt your sleep. If my, my notification woke you up or something, I do apologize about that. This, I just couldn't hold this one in. I just had to show you. I was going to wait until like like later on in the day, but I just I couldn't sleep. I just had to show it to you. I couldn't sleep after I made it because right after I made it, I mean, I had some little complications. I always have complications breathing in the morning, but, you know, muddled through it, took my inhaler, pushed right through it, got a little chance to relax over and watching some homestead tv shows over there i like to watch over there in the next room that kind of calms me down and then i said i gotta show them this they gotta see this so i'm seeing this the first time as you're seeing it for the first time so i did a bigger piece right here this is made on this is on styrofoam it's actually on styrofoam so we'll do the styrofoam tomorrow actually it is tomorrow we'll do it a little maybe around 12 o'clock or something like that around that time i should have orders to process 
Uh, those you've been asking me about the extreme black, that's gonna launch next week. Um, I just have to get the labels and stuff ready for it. That's all. And we have to get the price and all that stuff ready for it. Let's check out some skin tones on it, okay? Let's see what we get for some skin tones. Well, of course we're gonna get that. We're gonna get the um, political commercials are gonna pop up. Let's let that, that roll on through. All right. Now, like I said, tomorrow I'll have the bigger sheet set up and then that way you can see more of the screen. Let me just give you an idea of the of the um, skin tones and the colors and stuff like that. Oh, okay. That's nice. This could possibly replace a gray screen easily. I mean, there'd be no point in us having the black silver if this stuff works like this. I'm gonna have to do a side-by-side -side demonstration of the black silver versus a blue. I'm curious now. Well, that'll be coming up soon, because now I gotta know. Is we're using 720p. I'll break it down. You know me, guys. I'm gonna break it down to the thousand lumen projector to see if we'll get the same reaction in white levels and so forth. So, I know probably staring at it, some people may think, oh, it's it's gray. Um, no, it's not, it's blue. Now this would be gray. I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything against this. It's just a show. It's not gonna do anything against this product or anything. It's just a show, that's all. The difference, that's all. So that's gray, right? That's blue. side by side. I don't want to leak any of this on my countertops here. This is not to, woo, he's leaking all over my countertop. Oh well, I'll clean that up. Don't worry, it's not the first time I spill paint on my countertops. I do it all the time. All right, let's see side by side. So let's see what it is here. See? It's a blue screen. Yeah, I gotta get that cleaned up. Don't worry, I spilled paint. I actually had a container laying flat and I didn't correctly close the lid on it and I spilled paint everywhere. Well, it's not, see, that's the thing about it, which uh, you gotta think about. It's not for, if you can't do blue in your man cave, that's why we got black screens. So, I'm from Philadelphia, my friend. I'm Eagles too. I don't know if you're from Philly, but I'm from Philly myself. I grew up just about everywhere. If you're from Philadelphia, you would know Rich and Allen Projects, 33rd and Dam, and Ethan Butler. Um, I grew up in all those areas like that. So yeah, I know Philadelphia, trust me. I've been all over Philly. Strawberry Mansion, all of them, everything. Yeah, I'm from Philadelphia too. I grew up in all, back in the 80s, I grew up in Strawberry Mansion, 33rd and Diamond, 5th and Gal Allegheny, 8th and Butler. I grew up in all them places, man. Southwest, all of them. Yep, from Philadelphia too. I got people all in Mary. I'm an OG. I got people all in them areas right there. That's my old stomping ground, especially Strawberry Mansion. I grew up in Strawberry Mansion. When I didn't grow up in Strawberry Mansion, but I spent five or six years in Strawberry Mansion in the 80s. And you know what Strawberry Mansion was like in the 80s? I went to Franklin and I went to Strawberry Mansion and boom. So that tells you a little bit about my um my attitude when I was young. It wasn't a pretty one. 
It really wasn't. Glad I grew up. I'm glad I did grow up eventually. But it wasn't hitting out too well. You know, boom is the last stop. Once you go to Strawberry Mansion, then you go to Franklin. From Franklin, they transfer you over to Boom. Yeah, I was in Boom. Yeah, I got my act together. You get in trouble doing a few dumb things when you're young. You had a choice to make. You got a choice to make. Got a choice to make. Get your life together. Get it together. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, get your... I even got family down in Diamond Gratz. I got some uncles down in Diamond Gratz over there. Diamond Gratz has always been the same. No matter what, it's always been the same. Yeah. Yep. You, I, I definitely think you know where, um, where uh, Park Avenue is at. Park Avenue is right behind uh, Broad and Susquehanna. Right up near, near, when you come down through Temple University, you get to Broad and Susquehanna. That's when you get over to um, Park Avenue. I used to live right around the corner from Park Avenue. I lived over there too for about maybe about maybe about maybe four or five years over there too. I lived pretty much everywhere, all the way down to Fern Rock, um, uh, Wyoming, all up in the areas. I lived up in them areas too. Erie lived up in Erie, all them areas up there. I'm only fifty three years old. I lived all over Philadelphia. I didn't like Southwest too much. That wasn't for me. I came out of Southwest. Yeah, you definitely know where that's at. I know you know where that's at. If you're from Philadelphia, you know where the areas are at. Yeah, but yeah, if you don't like the blue screen, like I said, I don't even know if I'm gonna bring out the blue screen. It was just just for fun. You know, maybe I may I want. I mean, I got people that are artsy, and for them to have a blue screen in their environment, that's for them. Blue screen is not gonna be for everybody. It's just not. But that's why we have black screens. That's why we have gold screens. We got that extreme black that looks like an OLED. These are like OLEDs, but we got that really serious black screen. So, you know what I mean? You could fall into one of those categories for what you may want. But the blue screen is not going to be for everybody. Like me personally, I'm not going to have a blue screen in my theater room. But I know people that are into that kind of artsy design, they would love to have a blue screen set up in their environment. You know what I mean? But it's like the each his own, you know what I mean? All right, well, well, what I'll do is tomorrow um, I'll basically go in and do a couple football games off of it because I know people are going to request that, and we'll go from there. Yeah, that's what I would do. The extreme Black, I'm actually going to be recoding because I'm recoding my 135 upstairs with that Extreme Black because that thing's going to look insane when the new console systems come out. Eventually, hopefully, I will get one. Hopefully, eventually, I will get one, but, you know, we'll see. You know what I mean? Real quick, I don't understand this. I mean, if you've been, I've been gaming for a while. I've been gaming since Vector Graphics and Pong, man. I'm telling you something, people. To new people that basically that are getting these console systems, you haven't been out in that era of the arcades and all that other crazy stuff. They've been doing this for years. This has been going on for years. The whole not having enough consoles and waiting for the anticipation to build up. That kind of craziness, that has been going on forever. It's been going on past the Genesis. It's been going on past the Super NES. I remember the lines. I waited in line just to get an N64 when they first came out. This has been going on forever. So you would think if you're a company who makes these systems and this is something that happens, you would think you would have enough console systems to cover everybody. Now, this is a strategy plan. They've been doing this for years. And I guarantee you, any console that comes out after this, it'll be the same thing. They won't have enough consoles, and I don't know how that's even possible when you could 3D print half of the stuff that we make today. But like I said, whatever. All right, people, um, thank you for being up with me uh, to uh, do, uh, do this demonstration. Uh, Big Mike, you have a good one out there, man. Be safe, man. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. I got to go.